Hey guys, in the lecture where we installed Apache, we had to go manually into the remote system and configure the sudoers file. Now, as I mentioned in that lecture, we could also automate that task. Now, to do that, what we need to do is, we need to create a playbook. So let's do a new file and let's call it set sudoer.yaml now here let's start the playbook by typing in three dashes and let's do hosts and let's also run this against dev and under tasks we will use line in file this is the module and then we need to specify some parameters for this module now let's open up the help file for this module now as you can see it manages lines in text files And in synopsis, you can see this module ensures a particular line is in a file or replace an existing line using back referenced regular expressions. Now, the parameters are attributes, which is the attribute the resulting file or directory should have, back references to specify some back references, backup if we want to create a backup of that file or not because if you remember from that lecture we created a backup of our sudo file creates which will again check if the file already exists now what we need to do is we need to use path which will specify the file that needs to be modified the full path of that file in our case, it will be slash at C slash sudoers. We will utilize state to specify that the line should be there. We will also specify regex to specify the regular expression. So it should be here somewhere here. Regex, the regular expression to look for in every line of the file for state present the pattern to replace if found now the next is we will utilize line to specify which line to replace so here the line to insert or replace into the file and lastly we need to use validate and validate is the command to run before copying into place or the path to the file to validate we also have some examples so for example in the SL Linux config file you can specify the regular expression and then you can specify SL Linux is equal to enforcing and this will change SC Linux to enforcing mode similarly you can also go into your default apache config and you can start listening on port 8080 using this particular module so let's head back to the visual studio code we use a line in file here at the next level from line in file i will use path to specify the path and the path is slash at c slash sudoers now next i need to specify a state and the state will be present next i need to specify regular expression and the regular expression i'm going to use is caret percentage 
sudo and then line and the line we need to use is if we go to our dev system rather this system should have etc file as well so let's use terminal on this machine so again sudo minus i type in the password and then nano slash rc slash sudoers and this is the line we need to replace for sudo we can copy and under line we can specify paste now what we need to do is because we need to replace this line we can go all space like this and under validate we can say vi sudo minus cf percentage s now what's happening here is we've used the line in file module to modify our sudoers file the state is present that this line should be present the regular expression is percentage sudo so if we go into the file at the line we need to replace starts with percentage sudo so that's the regular expression i put in and the new line should be percentage sudo all all no password all and under validate we've used the vi sudo command now we can do three dots here we can go into file and save now we can run this using ansible playbook and give it the path which is documents ansible set sudoers now we need to run this playbook as a root user because obviously no other user will be able to edit the sudoers file and since we are changing the sudoer file itself we can't use become yes like we did in the installing apache lecture so workaround is that we will specify the use of become password or the root user password in the ansible playbook command we will use minus b space minus k flags so let me show you the flags that i'm going to use first so ansible playbook minus h to specify the help file now in the help file you can see if i use minus b I'm telling Ansible to run the operation with become. And if I do a minus capital K, it will ask for the become user password. So if I run my playbook, with minus B and minus capital K flag, I am telling Ansible through an ad hoc command to run this playbook as the root user and prompt me to enter the password of the root user. And I can hit minus K. And now it will ask me for the sudo password. So here I can specify the sudo password on the remote machine. And this will start running the playbook as a root user on the remote machine now as you can see 
we've got changed is equal to one, which means it has gone onto the remote machine and copied our file or rather change the line in their file to specify set sudoers as password. So let's go into the remote machine. Now on the remote machine, once you're logged in as root, you can type in cat slash etsy slash sudoers. And you can see that the sudo line was replaced to no password. With this, we've come to the end of this lecture. This is how you can set all your remote machines to allow Ansible to run privileged commands. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next lecture. Bye.